Hello everyone, welcome back to Photoshop Simplified. Today we're going to be discussing how to control colors throughout our image. So to control color in my image, I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer. And this is right over here in the adjustments panel. So the first thing you're going to notice where it says default, there are some presets under here. And you can use these presets to increase saturation or use an old processing style like a cyanotype. But what we're going to be doing is going in manually and adjusting the individual colors. So what I want to do is bring out the greens in these clouds, and it's going to recognize that as more of a cyan. It's kind of like a green-blue. So to make it more of a green, I'm going to switch the hue over a little bit more towards the green side. And then to really make these colors pop, I'm going to pull the saturation up. And to control the brightness of the color, I'm going to take the lightness down. And we can use this eyedropper tool to refine our selection. We want to just pull up this range of colors. You can click around throughout the image and change your selection that way as well. Now if you want to see what effect it's having, you can click the visibility icon and you can turn that off or on. So the greens and the clouds look pretty good. So now let's go in and do some adjustment to the ground. In Photoshop, the ground's normally recognized as a yellow. So let's add a little bit of saturation to that. And again, take that more towards the green. So just a few quick adjustments to a hue saturation layer. You can see the big difference we've already made. So let's go ahead and close out as we're finished with that. And generally, when I make adjustments, I'll pull down the opacity on the layer just to lessen the effect a little bit and make it more realistic. So let's take the opacity down to about 70. So this looks pretty good, but we can definitely go a lot further with it. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a levels adjustment layer. And levels can adjust the brightness, contrast, and tonal range by using a histogram. So I know a histogram looks a little confusing at first, but it's basically just a bar graph. And what it does, it shows the number of pixels across the range of tones in an image. Well, the higher the peak on the histogram, the more pixels there are there. So on the left are the blacks, and on the right are the whites. And then the midpoint is the midtones in the image. So as you can see, our image has a lot of midtones. It doesn't have very much in the way of whites, and it's got a little bit of blacks. So what we're going to do is take these points, and I'm going to start with my black point, and I'm going to slide it to the right. And what I'm doing here is I'm telling the image that everything to the left of this point now needs to be pure black, where it was, you know, everything to the right just started being midtones. So now let's adjust our white point, and it's exactly the same as the black except the opposite. So now everything to the right of that white point is going to be pure white and then the gradient will work its way back towards black as you move left across the histogram. Now you can adjust the midtone point, and then if you take it to the right, that will add contrast. If you take the left, it will decrease contrast. So let's add just a little bit of contrast. The problem is the ground has made it too contrasty. We've lost a lot of detail in the shadows. So what we're going to do is go over to the adjustment layers layer mask, and we have that activated. And we're going to take our brush tool, and it's selected on black, and we're going to erase away the bottom part of the image. And just like with the hue saturation layer, we're going to take the opacity down just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now we've added some drama to the sky and it looks great, but the problem is the green is kind of overtaking the entire sky. And I don't want that. I just want the green to kind of show through on the lighter parts and I want the dark parts of the clouds to be more towards a gray or a black. So what we're going to do is add a color balance adjustment layer. And as you'll see, it's got a drop-down menu where you can choose midtones, shadows, or highlights. And this will affect the colors in just the midtones, shadows, or highlights. So let's just take a little bit of that cyan out of the midtones. And to do that, we're just going to add a little bit of red to the image. If you think of a color wheel, the color opposite of what you're trying to remedy, you just add that color to even it out. Now let's switch over to our shadows. This will really be where we'll take care of the green and the dark part of the clouds. So we're going to be adding some red to this. We're just going to add about 26 points of red to it. Let's go down to the magenta and green slider. Let's add just a little bit of magenta, taking away some of the green from the shadows. And now it looks a little blue, so let's take it over towards yellow. As you can see, we've really taken the green out of those dark parts of the clouds. But at the same point, it's also affected the highlights just a little bit, so I want to add some cyan back into those highlights. 
So we'll switch the drop down menu to highlights, drag this over to the left, and using the visibility icon, we can see the adjustments we've made. Very dramatic change, taking the greens out of the dark part of the clouds that we did not want to appear green. As you can see, it's done this weird kind of thing to the ground. So let's just go ahead and activate the layers layer mask. And using the black brush, we'll just paint away this bottom part. So let's just go ahead and see the changes we've made as we've gone through these adjustment layers. We have the hue saturation here. We corrected the levels of the image here and then fixed the color balance. So as you can see, we have a nice dramatic contrasty sky. We have our greens where we want. We have our blacks where we want. So it's all about full control of color throughout your image. And when you're shooting landscapes, color is absolutely everything. And we'll do some more fine tuning of this as we work through the next lessons.